Welcome to the next step of this assignment where we add a drum set and a bass guitar and a flute. Um, you'll go ahead and see that this drum kit, this is just a basic rock beat and we do the same thing every measure. I'm going to show you how to add it into your previous score that we've done, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So let me just close this one and I'm going to open a new one. Actually save you time, go open the one that you've already created called Mary Had a Little Lamb, and then in the edit menu you should see instruments. There's a shortcut to this one that I always use, which is the I. I'm going to click on I on my keyboard and it pulls open this instrument settings. Over here you want to add some instruments, so let's go ahead and figure out which ones we wanted to add first. Um, I think I want to go back to my testing one so I can show you what we want. Okay, so we want the flute, the bass guitar, and the drum set. So back to this one. We do the I. We're going to go to a woodwinds. We're going to select flute and add it. Next, we wanted a bass. Click on plucked strings. Go down to electric bass. Select add. And last of all, we want to add some percussion. Unpitched drum set. Click add. Click OK. And in your score, you will see the three new instruments. All right, let's go to uh, change this to page view, to, from page view to continuous view. And I'll have you go ahead and just take this first line. We're going to just drop this into the flute section here. Control C or right click, copy. And then in the flute, Control V or right click, paste. If you're on a Mac, it's Command V. Oops, paste. I think I missed that. Copy. Whoops. Control C. Control V. And next we want an electric uh, base. And we're just going to do a C. Let's go to our note entry here. Let's do a C and a G on one and three. And then on the five chord, we'll do a G, D. And back to C. And then starting over. G. G. Actually, let's do a B. I'll uh, hit the up arrow. on with a whole note. So we need a number seven or you click on that and then hit C. Hit escape twice to get out of that. And now let's go to the drum kit. Um, again this one is a little different. In MuseScore 3 it shows up in a different place. It will be down at the bottom as soon as you click on the note entry. And we're going to build, let me show you again, this rock beat, which is the voice down here is going to be your feet. And this is the bass drum. And then the little X is up here on the top line. This is your closed hi-hat. And then this note right here on the bass clef E line, that is your snare drum. So let's go ahead and add, first of all, voice one. We're going to do these high closed hi-hats all in eighth notes. And then we're going to do, on beat two and four, we're going to add the snare drum. All right, so back to my note entry. And I wanted this hi-hat here. Let's just drag it. Actually, we need an eighth note. So let's select the eighth note. And all you have to do is just start clicking, and it'll put them in there. I 
can even be in the wrong place and it'll still put it in the right the right location next i want beat two and four we wanted this acoustic let's just do the this snare drum here the second one if you hover over it it tells you what it is this is an electric snare drum and i want it on again if i tried to put it in the wrong place it'll actually fix it for me now voice two you can either manually get to up at the top here or you can go to the bass drum which we're going to get this one here and notice it switched voice automatically for me and i just want to change this to a quarter note because they typically write those in quarter notes and we wanted it on beat one and three let's just go back yep beat one and three now notice every other measure is the same except for this last measure which we're going to end on a crash and a bass so let's go ahead and grab those and just copy and paste so we click on this if you're in note entry remember you have to escape by clicking on the n again or another way to do it is hit the escape key now it puts you into the selection tool so you can actually copy this click here paste paste there's another quick way to do it which is the r so give a shot with the hitting r and notice it just repeats that same pattern now this one's a little different um the first half of the measure is the same but then the second half of the measure changes so let's just paste it again and then go delete our notes how do you delete notes well you just get out of the note entry um, escape and then you'll select the ones you're going to delete just hit the delete key you can arrow over delete arrow over delete arrow over delete and we could change these to a half note rest just clicking on that this thing we can do the oh, actually we want to keep that one so the only thing we need now is to go back to our note entry and look for the crash i believe it's this number c crash symbol and just click on it and there you have it um the only thing that looks a little different is i had a whole note here or a half note let me just change this thing to a half note by hitting a six and it looks identical now so let's see next we want to go ahead and hit play and see how it sounds i'll hit back to the beginning Now that you have all your instruments in, let's go ahead and refine it with the mixer. If you can't find the mixer, you can hit the F10 key or do a Google search and it'll show you how to find the mixer in MuseScore. I'll hit the play button here. And I want the piano to sound louder, so let me just turn that volume up here on the piano. Spacebar starts and stops. If I want to change the sound on the flute, you highlight the flute and then you can select an instrument from the drop down here. Let me go ahead and back it up, start playing. And I'm gonna turn the flute up and then I'll change the instrument to something else. Let's just try a couple of things. I'll just leave it as flute. If you type the letter F, it'll jump to anything that's an F. And there I found the flute. I will bring that flute volume down a little bit. Listen to it again. Let me try the bass up a little. And let's try the drum kit about right there. You can work that until you like the sound. In the next video, I will go ahead and show you how to export those MIDI files and the XML files for use.